Hi guys, it's me Swastik and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your Discord bot join a voice channel and speak to you like this. Hello everyone, I'm the coding bot. And we'll be doing this with Discord.py using the 11 Labs API. So let's begin. First, you'll need to go to 11labs.io and create an account. So let's sign up. All right, so when you create your account, you'll get 10,000 tokens that you can use for free. So what we'll do is we'll get the API key. And for that, what we have to do is click here and click on profile plus API key. And um, right here, you'll see the API key. Just click, uh, just copy this and you'll need to paste it in an env file. And I'll talk about that env file later on when I talk about the code. Now we'll also need to install FFmpeg for this. If you already have FFmpeg installed, you can skip this section. But if you don't, just follow along. Go to FFmpeg.org and click on download. Then uh, since I have Windows, I'll show it for Windows. If you don't have Windows, uh, if you have Linux or Mac, you can also install it for, the, uh, for those operating systems. But for Windows, just go to Windows builds from Gyan.dev um, and then go here to the mirror uh, GitHub link and um, install, uh, just download the FFmpeg full build.zip. All right. Uh, I already have it downloaded. So just click on this. It'll download it for you. So once you download the zip, just extract it. And I renamed the folder to just FFmpeg. And inside here, I have the exes. All right. So just go back here and uh, take this folder, which you just renamed. Uh, to FFmpeg and uh, copy this and put it in your uh, C drive. All right. So I have it in my C drive right here. And what you may optionally do is you can add this path to your environment variables so that um, you can run FFmpeg directly through your command line. But that is optional for this. Uh, for this video, you won't need to do that. All right. So now you'll have to install the libraries that we we'll need for this. We'll be needing the discord.py voice libraries and we will need 11 labs. All right. So just make sure you have these installed and then we can start. All right, let's now take a look at how the code for this will look like. So first I have my discord bot token and 11 API key in this .env file. And this is my main bot file. All right. I have imported these modules, os.env, um, discord, async IO. These are the standard modules for a discord bot. And along with that, I have imported 11 labs. And what I've imported from 11 labs is async 11 labs and a save function. Uh, which basically saves our audio. So um, we load our .env and we create our async client. All right. Uh, this will be our 11 labs API client, which will be async. So just make sure you pass in the API key right here. And we also create our discord bot here. So we give it the message content intent. I haven't used slash commands. I just use uh, normal commands here, uh, but uh, you can use it with any commands that you want. So we'll skip over this function for now. I'll explain this in a bit. Uh, let's take a look at our first command, which is hello. This is a simple command that plays a static MP3 file that I have in my file system. That is basically this hello.mp3. So whenever you run this command, the bot will join the VC and play that uh, audio file. So how it works is simply, um, we get the voice channel that the author is in. Basically the person who ran the command, we can look at their uh, voice property. This has the voice state and inside the voice state, we access its channel. So this will give us the voice channel, the author of the command is currently in. Let's say the author is not in a voice channel. Uh, what we do is we simply say, please enter a VC. That is, if this voice channel is none, please enter a VC and we return. Otherwise, um, if they are in a voice channel, what we do is we run this function, play audio in channel and we pass in this voice channel and we pass in this hello.mp3. All right, uh, let's take a look at how this works now, this play audio in channel function. So what we do is we connect to that channel we then play this audio. Now, this is the main line that plays the audio. Uh, we first uh, have to pass in FFmpeg as an executable to this FFmpeg PCM audio. And we pass in the source that is our source file, which is hello.mp3 in this case. And this will be played. And what we'll do is we'll sleep uh, while this is playing so that we can disconnect later on. So while this audio file is playing, we can sleep and then we can disconnect. So what happens is the bot will join the VC, it will play the audio file and then it will leave the VC. All right, let's now take a look at our second command, which is the say command that uses the 11 labs API. So what this command does is you can pass it some text and it will say that. So like the hello command, we find the voice channel. If it is none, we ask the user to enter a VC. After that, we delete our old message. Uh, we delete the message that invoked the command. And then what we do is we generate our audio. So for that, we will use the generate function of the 11 client and we'll await that of course, and we'll give it the text 
and we give it a voice model now there are multiple voice models that you can use um, I will show them here on the screen right now so you can take a look so we pass in the voice here and then the model here so now this is an async iterator of uh, bytes so what we do is we create a byte string here uh, called out and then we uh, iterate through this audio and we append to this uh, byte string all right we append the bytes in this byte string once we have this byte string we can save we can use the save function that we imported before and uh, we save that as our audio.mp3 and then we can play that audio in channel we give it the voice channel and then we give it the audio.mp3 and that's it for this command and then finally we run our bot so um, that is it for the bot code let's try and run the bot and see if it works all right let's see if the say command works i will ask the bot to say this and uh, it'll join hello swaz how are you doing on this fine day and there you go it works as expected so what you can do next is you can have this link to the OpenAI API and you can have a conversation with the bot. I'm not going to cover that in this video. So if you want me to do that, if you want me to make a video on that, uh, comment below and let me know. Now, since we're using the 11 labs API, it's actually pretty good. You can have not only English text, you can have text in any language and it'll work very well. Um, I've personally tried it and it works really well, but you also need to keep in mind that you may run out of free tokens on 11 labs. I think they give you 10,000 some tokens for free. Uh, but you can buy some more tokens and then keep using this because the voices are really good by the way before I leave I'll be hosting a discord nitro giveaway So in order to enter it, there is only three requirements You must be subscribed to my channel You must be in my discord server the coding realm and you must comment below just comment anything that you want But make sure that you include your discord username in it. That's it. So make sure you do that and um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye